Johnny Somali. He walks around Nagasaki and Hiroshima harassing the citizens of Japan. Hiroshima, Nagasaki, you know what we do to you? Hiroshima, Nagasaki. Oh, I hate him so much. Little did he know he would get absolutely destroyed. Not that long after. Do you know what the Yakuza is? POV, me when I see a guy, uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Johnny Somali, dude. Johnny Somali. Shut up! Japan is one of my favorite countries in the whole wide, wide world. I love the porn they make awesome. It's also a place of peace. And after the horrors of the world wars, the country has improved dramatically and is <laughs> open for all to enjoy. Sorry to bring up the world wars. Japan truly is a beautiful place and I've heard nothing but positive things. The culture is beautiful. I love Asian culture in general, but the Japanese just have a, a way with the, the, the mosaics over the vaginas and the, the dicks. Let me, let, me re, let me rephrase that. I seriously really enjoy Japanese culture. It's cool. I'm not a weebaru or whatever the fuck they're called, but I do love it. And now a lot of people take advantage of the kindness of this country and other Asian countries as well, but Bruh. cute pussy. Japan specifically has been taken advantage of a lot. All right. I mean, suicide force Logan Paul. Bing. We all know that. Now we have a kick streamer called Johnny Somali. Dude also has a YouTube channel. He's a self-proclaimed Somalian pirate. He walks around Nagasaki and Hiroshima harassing the citizens of Japan in just the most disgusting way that I've seen in a very long time. But by God, it ends great. <laughs> the story ends so good. Johnny Somali supposedly started streaming after he met Ice Poseidon in Japan. Great role model, by the way. Excellent role model. Maybe the ultimate human being to base yourself off of. Let's see what Ice Poseidon's up to. Oh, he's going to jail for five years in a Thai prison. I wanted to make this video to apologize. Live streamer Johnny Somali, who claims he started streaming after meeting Ice Poseidon a few months ago in Japan, returns to Japan from Thailand. He would usually post videos of himself on YouTube doing wild stuff, but soon saw views on his videos declining. He since decided to start live streaming. The dude got banned from Ice Poseidon stream, which is saying something. Somebody tell Ice unban me, I'll raid his ass. Somebody tell Ice unban me. Ice Poseidon, he banned you? I'm banned from his, his kick chat, his discord, his, uh, his every, everything. He mentions that he's banned from Ice's chat and his discord and stuff. The context of that is he showed up to a police station claiming to be their lawyer. Uh, listen, I'm here as the lawyer, listen. He's a fucking lunatic. This guy's a lunatic. We'll kind of go back to one of his most popular trips that he live streamed, and it was one to Japan. You could just see him harassing Japanese people on trains, like I mentioned about Hiroshima and Nagasaki, just making fun of those two places. If you don't know, that's where America dropped nuclear bombs in World War II to end the war. Hiroshima, Nagasaki, you know why we do to you? Hiroshima, Nagasaki. Finally, a hero of our time stands up to him and states that he's being obnoxious and incredibly disrespectful. We do again. You don't understand? What? What do you mean? Where are you from? I'm from where are you, you know where I'm from? Where are you from? I'm from uh, America. You're from America? Yes. So am I. Then the streamer asks for this man's ethnicity, and he says he's Korean, and then Johnny Somali, the great person that he is, says, we'll do the Korean War again. Where are you from? What's your ethnicity? Texas, buddy. What's your ethnicity? I'm Korean. Then sit down, brother. Why don't you sit your ass? Korean War, you know what happened to you? Don't touch me, brother. Don't touch me, brother. Korean War, North Korean War, you know what we did to you. I don't think Johnny Somali knows anything about wars or how they start. This is a fucking idiot. And the dude in the blue shirt just wants him to be a good person and be a good example for Americans, and, and he doesn't care, obviously. Why don't you be a good representative Why don't you sit America? down? Like, you don't make Americans look good. I don't give a f about America. You're from America. I don't f about my money. He's an absolute intolerable piece of shit and rides off the hate gate and has just not even 10,000 followers. <laughs> it's so bad, man. And after the stream ended, the clips went super viral and they were on Reddit and shit and 5 million views on Reddit. That's a lot. That's like 50 million views anywhere else. <laughs> Dude starts a new stream just a few hours later and celebrates the same night talking to people on Discord and laughing about everything that went down. Little did he know 
he would get absolutely destroyed. Not that long after. The people of Japan begin to fight back. Karma is real and it exists heavily in Japan. So Johnny is talking to his friends celebrating on Discord and a man approaches him on a motorcycle and asks if he wants to repeat what he said about Pearl Harbor and then asks if he wants to fight. <laughs> Nothing. What? nothing, bro. I don't say nothing. You want to fight? No, 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 no. No, I don't want to. Nothing. Johnny, being the brave stallion of a man that he is, backs into a corner and is incredibly scared while all of his friends laugh in Discord. What? Bye, nothing. He then walks away from the scene incredibly awkwardly and quickly uh, and makes this dumb face. We're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> we, we good. Oh, I hate him so much. I've never seen someone come off as more of a pussy and just, I don't even want to use the word a beta. Betas are respectable. It's like an actual place in the hierarchy. This guy is just an absolute outcast. He's terrible. Nothing is good about this character. The dude confronts him again and says he's going to call the police and then asks him if why he would say something racist and terrible like that. I got you on camera. Call, call force, man. No. Uh, you, call force. You call police for what? Yeah. You should, for what? Because huh? you tried to attack call, me. Call force. Call. Yeah. I call police. Call back. Call. Call. Yeah. And then the dude says, of course, no, it wasn't me. Of course it was me. It was a don donation that said it, not him. <laughs> I want uh, your reason. Why? Somebody, so. okay, okay, okay. Somebody give me your money. No. Somebody give me money, and I said say it. No. So I said it on the train. You say it. Yeah. Can somebody give me money. Somebody. You no know, donation. Obviously, Johnny Somali apologizes to the man, and it's incredibly half-assed. He just doesn't want to get his shit rocked. So can I say no. sorry? Are you, I'm not. It's a joke. What? Yeah, we're not playing, bro. It's a joke. Yo, he mad. What is he mad about? Being 108 pounds soaking wet doesn't give you a lot of room to be a uh, an asshole. Unless you're behind a monitor, obviously. You just have a keyboard. We had some crazy moments. And more is coming. More is coming. Anybody I spoke to tonight, I'll speak the same way. I don't really know. You was being racist for no reason. Who was I racist to? And how can I be black and racist? I don't know. Sense. I don't like Johnny Somali at all. Johnny Somali really doesn't know how to be a good person, it seems. He clearly has no respect for Asian people whatsoever. And Johnny really doesn't seem to care about the bad press that's coming his way from all these <laughs> just things he's been doing. He has his wanted level on Instagram. Oh my God, man. That is so dumb. Like, how does he, how does this, how does this end for this guy? This is the most short-sighted career I've ever seen. Johnny starts his stream up again after he gets harassed by this racist Japanese fellow. And he says he's got a few fans coming out to the place he is staying, which in, in reality is just a bunch of people trying to stop him. Yo, so we got some fans that pulled out right now from doing what he's consistently doing and get him to apologize, which is awesome. He gets approached by a group of Japanese streamers and content creators and is called out for his incredibly disrespectful behavior. It's awesome. It's a pretty large group of people that confront him. They look like good folk. No weapons, no weapons, no weapons. No weapons. Okay, okay. They say, that's not funny. That is a bad joke and you are disrespectful to the community. And he gets scared again and says, let's just use our words and not fight. What you did is one of the uh, something that is um, disrespectful for the whole Japanese community, uh -huh. and that is why Japan is really, really mad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But can we talk? We don't need to fight, you know? Why well, use words? Let's use words. He acts like it's all just a big misunderstanding when he's confronted with a large group. Literally a witch. This guy's a witch, man. In Salem, this motherfucker would be burned alive, all right? Come on, guys. I didn't mean to cast the spell and put the garlic into the cauldron. <laughs> well, you put the garlic into the cauldron, so now it's time to burn. I'm not saying I'm going to burn Johnny, obviously. I'm just saying that's what has happened to people in the past when they do stuff like this. This group presses Johnny the idiot and says that they're not mad about the single train incident. They're mad that he went on the train again and had a bunch of disrespectful donation sounds that played uh, in a quiet train car with commuters. Yo, God, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what's happening. Yo, what is this, bro? Stop. He, obviously, having an inability to take responsibility for his actions, blames on his viewers and TTS and says it's not his fault. It's because it's the people who are watching 
who are doing it. Oh, little Johnny, smart. That's a good little workaround there, you little bastard. Uh, you, know, you had that like train where you yeah. put some sounds on them? Yeah. Official sound, and it's... Can you tell them that I don't control the sound? Can you explain to them what TTS is? And these are all content creators. They understand how this works. Just turn it off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Instead of just letting it sound, you know. During all this, the camera pans to the main character of an anime and Johnny is confused and says, why are you naked? This whole thing is very frustrating. There's no getting through to Johnny Somali. He's an absolute fucking goober. Refuses to listen to anything that anyone says. And they just want him to apologize. And he doesn't know why he needs to apologize. Just say you're sorry to say. Japanese people and you take this seriously. He gets a donation message that he just doesn't understand and he doesn't know what it says. He says, that's not my fault. And they ask him to turn it off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Yeah, oh, sorry. I don't, that was not my fault. Okay, turn it off. And then a translator in the group pleads with him just to say, hey, man, I'm sorry. And of course, he says, apologize for what? Act, acting as if he's done nothing wrong. Say you're sorry. I don't have no problem with Japan. Okay, but say you're sorry. Sorry for what incident? He then makes the epic claim that he has autism and mental illness and blames it on that, which is just truly the cherry on top of this whole situation, guys. Johnny Somali, he's not a piece of shit. He just has autism. One of the best moments, someone hands Johnny a phone and it reads a translated message and says that Johnny is a nobody and a loser. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, relax, 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 relax. Johnny is then told that he must take responsibility for every action he does from now on because they came to him to force him to apologize. And if he doesn't change, he deserves what's coming. That is called fuck around and find out, Johnny Somali. Here's the thing, right? You have to be responsible for every action that you undertake from now in this country. You can't make no excuses, right? You can't blame it on TTS. You can't blame it on chat. You have to be responsible. If you're not willing to be responsible, then don't play the game. Oh man, I want to see what happens next. How do you guys like, if, how do you guys Japan is a very small country, right? So here's the thing. If you want to play this game, you have to apologize. If you're not going to apologize, then yes, they're probably just going to yes, show you. Yes, you have to tomorrow. apologize. The crowd is still angry and they want him to apologize. And he pulls the race card and asks if it's because he's black. If that's the reason they want him to apologize. Yeah, there's a lot of people that are angry at you. What, is yeah. it because I'm black or is it because no, he's not it's not because oh, you're black. Oh, okay. okay. It's because you're disrespectful. And it's... So confusing, dude. Then a white guy says he harassed a guy on a train for $20, $20 which makes him a bitch. You harassed some rando dude on the train for $20. That makes you a bitch. <laughs> which is fucking awesome because they know that he is just as much of a piece of shit as we know him to be. It ends with Johnny promising he won't do any more TTS on public places or, or public transit and never stream on a train ever again. Atomic bomb? Train again? No atomic bomb no more. You're not gonna play no TTS on no trains. Okay, not on the train. You're not gonna play no TTS on the trains <laughs> and in public places, and you're never gonna stream on a train again. Oh, I don't know about that. No, you're never gonna stream on a train in this country. But no TTS, no TTS. No, no, no. I'll don't stream on a train in this country, right? Respect the trains, respect people's privacy, don't talk to randos, and realize you're not a comedian. Okay, why is that gay? Go men aside, Japan. Go men aside. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nido to mo shimasen. Nido to shimasen. Nido to. What does that mean? I won't do it another time. I will never pray again. I will not say nothing about atomic bomb again. Never. Yeah. Don't don't bring up Hiroshima. Don't bring up Nagasaki. Don't bring up war. And don't film randos. It takes so fucking long, but he finally apologized and said he won't make those jokes again. And then they say, if he makes dumb jokes again, that they're going to find him. And you can tell that he looks scared, which is good. He should be. Look, what is he saying? Yeah. Look, what is he saying? Uh, He's saying, uh, if you do dumb uh, shit again, okay. they're gonna find you. They're gonna find me. Yeah. Uh, they will so find you. And by the way, he did it again, and they did find him, and it's awesome. It's funny to me that when he's one-on-one -on, -one on the train with the poor Korean fellow, he just says there'll be a repeat of Hiroshima and Nagasaki and we'll do, uh, the, we'll do the Korean War again, but when he is confronted by an entire group of people, he changes his entire tune and his, his character goes right out the window. And that group of people, by the way, 
is not the only people who uh, took the disrespect of the Japanese culture to heart, all right? Do you know what the Yakuza is? Well, I do, and I like it. A few days go by, Johnny decides to get back on a train. And what a surprise! He's streaming again, talking in the quiet car. I will not make money. I just want to get to my destination in peace. Oh, then he realizes the same guy that made him apologize is back and is angry. He stands there menacingly, begins to record him, and he pulls the same shit again that he said he wouldn't do. Uh, oh my god, it's you again. It's off, it's off. Here's the oh, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> He shifts the blame and says, why not focus on Logan Paul? They tell him to shut the fuck up, but he can't because he's an idiot. Why are you guys focused on me? Why you don't focus on Logan Paul? Why just me? He is then shuffled off the train and into the hands of police. Thank God. He then says that this is racism and that the police are harassing him instead of the guys who were recording him. He said he did no crime and this is just a racist thing. And he asked the police if they knew George Floyd, MLK Jr. and Black Lives Matter. Yo, they look, 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 look. Look, how can you record me? This is racism. What is going on? And now they're bringing the big boys here. Call police, no problem. You got I ain't do no crime. This is racism. You know George Floyd? Martin Luther King? Black Lives Matter. You know, it's Black History Month coming soon. I think that was February, four months ago. Johnny tries to walk away and tries to escape the situation, and they say, no fucking way, dude. You're staying here, right? Right with us. I'm gonna leave. I'm going. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, 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 yeah. No, no. Relax. Yo, 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 die job, die job. And after all of this, he finally feels the need to apologize naturally, or he was forced to apologize online. I'm not exactly sure, but he bows his head and speaks in Japanese. And I think his apology was fake and hollow like the first time. People fucking hate this guy in Japan. As you could probably imagine, there's so many terrible clips of him just being a disgusting piece of shit and racist towards the citizens of a peaceful country. It's just so many examples of him being a terrible person. And that led to him getting confronted a few more times. He got slapped, he got punched, he got choked. If there's a circumstance in which those events would transgress naturally again, I would implore that to happen, please. But only if that would happen naturally in a natural scenario. Obviously, I'm not asking for that to happen. If it does happen, <laughs> and guys, cherry on top, Mr. Johnny Somali gets confronted by a supposed ex-Yakuza member, and he is forced to bow and apologize. That is fucking awesome. But this whole time he says CX in the chat, which is an outdated laughing emoji, meaning he's not actually sorry. The people in Japan, Paul Danino, Ice Poseidon, everybody. CX in the chat. Even after being completely fucking humiliated by this guy and this guy and this guy, but uh, yeah, and he's not sorry, dude. He went to Disney World and played a song fucking mimicking Japanese people. He's lucky, fucky, fucky, one time, one time. And another that just says atomic bomb over and over and over again. Atomic bomb. And by the way, this guy has a massive community of like 500 people who are just as stupid and offensive as he is. He's just blasting racist music. What a piece of shit. And making fun of the way Japanese people talk. Come on. FYI, Disney has rules against this. All of Johnny's activities are prohibited by King Disney. Look at this. Public transmission of any recording or any kind that may inconvenience other guests. <laughs> but every time he's fucking confronted, he just says, I'm not live streaming. I'm going to turn FaceTime call. I want him to get arrested so fucking bad. Genuinely. I cannot believe he hasn't been arrested yet. And Mizzy has. I feel like Mizzy isn't even as bad as Johnny Somali. This whole viral outrage exposure trend makes me the opposite of horny. All right. Make Makes me sicky blicky to my stummy wummy. I don't like it. It's not a laughing moment. So what's Johnny Somali doing right now, guys? Well, at the time of recording this, he's got a hundred viewers in Thailand, I think. Johnny is chronically online and maybe one of my least favorite content creators of all time. I think he's done the least to deserve a platform of anyone that I've ever really seen. And in fact, he's done the most to lose his platform, like just disrespecting an entire country consistently. He's in Thailand now. Maybe he'll get arrested like Ice Poseidon. I don't know, dude. We can only pray.